And again, we scroll in from the edge of the world because I do not dare to press the buttons to start and stop my recordings. Due to the fact that this game likes to crash when I do that. So I'm not gonna. Uh, it's gonna be weird for a bit more. It's very early in the day and we still have no prestige whatsoever. I really need to keep looking out for that a little bit better. But what I was curious about was looking a little bit through some areas that I actually know a little bit. I wonder, are there lakes on this map anywhere? Doesn't look like it. Count Oides rules over the nearby county of Provence, which is home to a large number of devout Catholics. The insurrect count could easily prosecute faithful Catholics living there, and this is my responsibility to protect them from this army of uh, this astray influence. You get an unpressed claim on county of Provence. Yeah, we cannot allow him to oppress the faithful. We are very faithfully dedicated. So, up here, the barony of Provence. I think because Provence is actually down here somewhere. So, this must be pronounced differently. Uh, so, uh, the Duchy of Champagne, Champagne. Is that du jour? Yeah, that's du jour. Um. What options do we have right now, war-wise? We do have a claim, but we don't have the prestige. 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 Um, but Provence is also in the duchy, kind of, that we're working toward. Okay. Now I don't want my son to be cynical. I wish him to be just, and I will take the stress penalty. What are all these options? Guardian for Kunigundis. Um, wow, I'm actually pretty decent. Let's have it be this. This lady can demand whatever she wants. Lady Elodie, you have forfeited your office. Um, Aquitaine is it? Man, Aquitaine is pretty big, pretty strong. I like that you now also get the allies tallied into this. That's good. Is similar in strength. Mm. All right, let's just keep going a little bit. We definitely need more prestige before we can do anything sensible. The issue for me is going to war costs you prestige, and then calling in your vassal also calls to prestige. So you can't really go to war against anyone more prestigious than you, which I think is kind of fun from a. Uh, from a roleplay standpoint, I think that's quite fun. What's up with you? Right, I can't declare war on him because I don't really have the prestige right now. Oh no, my counselor died. My son Jacques has recovered from consumption. Damn you, Jacques. You will splinter the realm in the wake of your recovery. And you need... Let's... See. Where is LOD? That's ah, fine. All my knights. I really like how the knights look. That's just nice. So let's speed it along a little bit. Since we're pretty much stuck on low prestige. How old are we? 32. 
Focused attention. For another year. Be generous. Don't really have the money to do anything. Or do I? We could upgrade our bowman. I think we should do that. These have been fairly good to us. Or... Onagas is so common. What are armored forces? Counter spearmen. What are you good for? Counters archers, but no one here ever has archers around. Let's look at uh, Reims. And you have light footmen and onagers. What's good against onagers? See. I don't think there's anything to counter Onagas, really. So what's cheaper? These are 75 and cost me 0 0.2 per month. Upgrading these costs the exact same, so it doesn't really matter. We can also wait a little bit longer for more money to come in. Maybe we can... Um, are there buildings that potentially raise our prestige or something? Now I want him to be just as well. More stress for us! I want to do this. Don't have the money. Oh, a new lifestyle perk. Forced vassalization castle spelly. Doesn't really help us much. Because we can't... Damn you! Chancellor fails. Ow, oh, he's, he's good. I don't like that. Oh no, I sheave. My poor spy mistress. See, I'm... I'm not worried about random events. That's fine by me. But this... This is silly. Jacques. Have a... Good martial education. I will have to... No, this doesn't really help me. I mean, it does. Just doesn't help me with what I need. Let's check out this. Why is this built up so much? I didn't build that. Is there anything giving prestige? Greedy, gregarious, or lustful. Oh, he can be greedy, it's fine. I think it's a sin, though. Um... Oh, The comfort of a friend. This Countess Bechara of Albrecht. Spending some time with us. Reducing our stress level. Wait. I eagerly propose to formalize the ties that we have. Boulogne. Can a count come... Let's just accept it, that's fine. There's a bit of Italy here. And a bit of Sjelland. What? Denmark. You go, girl. Duchy of Neustria. That's still French. It's so hard to tell who belongs to what. It really is. Mm, 
Nobody wants an alliance. Well, I could, I could actually just ask some dukes. Let's check around a little bit. Shop around. Is there still something like a realm tree? Duchy of Anjou? So the dear Duchess, our lover. Oh, she's not our lover. Should we seduce her once more to hopefully maybe make her some thing like that? I don't know. Not a very high chance there. So how do I see who's your strongest vassal? I don't see a realm tree option anywhere. Vassals. Ah, there we go. This one here has the most military power. But he wouldn't want that. I could send him a gift of a hundred gold. Are you kidding me? Okay, let's try with the other ones. This one likes us better. But just not enough weight. Minus 16. Hmm. Minus 12. So I think we need to do a sway scheme on this guy here. Alright. It looks to be something that should be fairly successful. And that way we can get ourselves another powerful ally. Few knights, that's an issue. Let's see if there's someone we can recruit right now. Nope. Don't have the prestige to get ourselves any knights. Can't I just... Can't I just, through this, find character? Um, all. Diplomatic range inside. Ruler. Not a ruler. Adult. Male. Doesn't matter. Not imprisoned. Have a hook? Have a hook on this guy, dude. Uh, oh. Okay, why? Uh, why are you showing me dead people? I mean, literally, what is the point of this? Why show me dead people? <laughs> okay. Will not accept. Uh, opinion of you. He already is at my court. He already is at my court. Uh, your marshal and knight. He doesn't want to come. How much do you cost to get here? 50 gold. What is all this? Doesn't really look like anyone wants to come to our court. <laughs> okay. We can't really circumvent the whole base idea. Our sister died. We gained 20 stress. Fantastic. Neighbor lost the war. 
I'm gonna speed it up more, I think. But we wanted to see if we can't get a building that gives us prestige. Does not look like there is such a thing. Upgrade this to gain more taxes. Or this to get more levies. Let's invest in these. First. And speed it up even further. So let's start exchanging letters now. Okay, he has a higher opinion of us now, so not quite there yet. Um, let's talk to him about etiquette, I mean. Doesn't seem like he has any sort of interest there. Oh yeah, let's let's make our son gregarious. This didn't really work, but we get 50 lifestyle opinion. Um, no. 50 lifestyle th thingy. Experiences. Is. Our dear Milon comes of age and he is an adequate bargainer. Oh, our friend Landolf has died. He will never be forgotten, however. What's going on here? Empty council position. All right. LOD, you ready? Definitely not her. Our son will be our counselor. And he will do. He will work on giving us prestige. Now I know why you would want someone working on prestige and potentially giving the enemy claims on you. Flexible truces. Our poor wife. No, no. She has been good for us. Get the court physician. Um, This guy? Or this guy? Let's go with this guy. Time for drastic measures. The poor wife. She's bruised and swollen, she barely looks human as I grab her hand. My wife attempts to speak, but no sound passes her lips. The spineless physician is standing in the corner of the room, waiting, anxiously wringing his hands. Botch disease treatment. Well, it's not like I can... Well, we all knew the risks, he is forgiven. Till death do us part. A wife has died. Which, you know. Oh no. The Count has also passed away. Can't sway him anymore. Uh, boom. That just means more alliance power for us. The County of Meersenburg. The Lordship of Penelin. I don't know what that is. Come on now. We can do better than that. Um, we'll be wanting to attack Aquitaine, so maybe we can get a marriage here. Well, nothing that really helps us. Ah, very good. She's young. 
but they will not accept. Not even if I make it matrilineally. Alright, let's find us anyone who gives us prestige then, alternatively. So we want rank. She's insular Christian. Seven hundred. Okay, that's a that's a good option. Five hundred. Now we go with the seven hundred prestige. Everything else does not matter right now. Our glory is now wildly known. Thanks. So what does this do? Secular opinion and number of knights. Oh, a notable guest has arrived. Let's see if we can't recruit him to court. Wow, he's really good. 40 gold. But he must be a knight. Ogier. Can't we get you a wife, maybe? A 16-year-old Gaelic girl. Let's make sure that all these men have women. Good women. Fertile women. We need more people in the court. This Greek lady. How about 46? There's still some life in you. We'll get you all the girls, my boys. Doesn't matter. I just need girls in the court to do with the knights the knightly doings. Milong, you're still betrothed. He is yet to grow up. Bossy, grave, and fickle, diligent. There will be a lot of accepted proposals now. So my knights can populate the realm. With their knightly knighthood knight. Things. So that also means we can do war again. It costs us 100 piety and 350 prestige. He does not have any allies, so we alone should be fine doing this. However, first we want to set a new rally point up here in Chalon. And now we will come get you. And we will raise our troops all there. I like how this war sound is very much reminiscent of uh, Lord of the Rings or something. Okay, we'll just go there. He's probably going to loop or something. But he also has terrible troops on top of everything. We can barely afford what we have. So let's speed this up. Whatever he is going to do, we're going to be finished with the siege before he does it. Oh, what is this? What is this ladder icon? Small breach. Stalemate. Starvation. Eerie me. So let's go take care of them besiegers. Another breach, a large breach this time. They are abandoning the siege though. Oh, I'm no longer Chancellor of West Frank, yeah. Could upgrade our military camp. I 
think we should keep a little bit of money on the back hand burner. Maybe he'll come and try and break the siege again. Oh yeah, we should probably... Court politics. Yeah, that's fine. Maybe he'll try and break the siege on... Or rather, the occupation. So we have a stalemate here. Starvation on our side. He's very good with those breaches. Alright there. We will enforce our demands. We gain 75 fame. And we gain the county. So let us stand down our troops once more. Um... Do we have uh, 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 all the wrong buttons? We definitely need to do control tasks up there. So what options do we have? I should grant rain to someone. It's the wrong type of holding, but if I grant it to someone... Wait, can't I... Make this the county capital? Um... Yeah, I don't hold the title, so probably not. Our hook has expired. Designate a guardian. What are you good at? Stewardship. So we... Oh no. Oh, okay. I thought this was absorbed by someone into something. So, how much do we need to form that duchy title here? The duchy of Champagne. Four de jour is what we need. We have two. So, taking this over here would bring us to three. And we would still have to fight for Provence, for example. But I can only win this if I call in all our allies. It's very misleading, that information there. Hundred and E is inferior, but he has one ally. How much prestige does he have? Way more than we. So we might just keep it at this for now. Um, our son and heir shall rule instead. Unfortunately, rumors of his insatiable avarice have been spreading around my court. Uh, take up, talk up his good qualities instead. What are you bad at? You're just, you're greedy, you're gregarious. I see nothing sinful about this boy. Don't be so negative about him. All right. So we have grown into a fairly decent sized realm, but it's going to shatter. And I want one more county, one more county. So once it shatters, the other son only holds two while the primary heir holds three. 
so it becomes a little bit easier to take over what is rightfully ours and this here over there is the best option probably Countess Raymond of Carcassonne Solène So, Countess Raymond. Her. She needs to die. But we have very little chance of making that happen. We'll we'll try anyway. Okay, cool. So now this murder banner is on top of the things that I on to see. Oh, we have two powerful vassals. Vassals. Epornay. Let's see. Is anyone good at anything and powerful? Oh, he is a very good spy master, so we can put him in there. That's fine. And think, little Elodie. Is not good at anything. So she just gets to stay away. King Alain is being attacked by Sultan Muhammad II. I no longer have an alliance with them. How many alliances do we have left? This one through two, this one through one. Maybe we can get an alliance with this guy here, but he's really weak. I don't like that there's so many duchies and duchies being so large. Probably more historically accurate and everything, but doesn't make for very interesting gameplay. Okay, peasant rabble targeting us. Understandable to a degree. Start swaying this guy. Oh, Marshall impresses Vassal. We finally gain some prestige from these people. Still second in line for Orleans. Also just seven percent. <laughs> I mean, building a new holding is kind of out of the range for us, financially speaking. And we must build a city as well. Which would be fine. But I kind of want to upgrade my castle. What does it do? All the garrison grows by a good amount. 500 in the fourth level jumps up heavily too. That would be quite quite useful. But is the investment of 800 really worth it? Oh, holding tax is plus 1%. This might be worth it. We'll have to see. For now, we're just going to try and work on uh, getting... Oh, diplomacy accomplished. Fabricate claim, 75% quicker. Hmm. 
being raided. I am not being raided. You are a big, big liar, Crusader Kings 3. Why do you lie through your teeth? What, two powerful vassals now? He's no longer powerful. Oh, but the guys that want the job are absolutely useless. Uh, betrothal fulfilled. They are now married. Very good. And I kind of hit the wrong button on the lifestyle thing. So how do I get that back now? Uh, hello game please tell me about the lifestyle thing where would I find that aha wait didn't I no what oh I think it was a message about the about the patrol and it just auto accepted I don't need that information, I know that. It's wrong. It's still one of the more baffling choices. They have a system where they show things here. Why do you do this then? Why this? I have an alliance with you. No, but you are allied to a prince of West Francia. These are not very big alliances. But she herself is strong. I mean, we rival dukes and our military power. He's quite strong right now. Uh, quite weak. That's not going to get any better. So let's press our claim because it's cheaper to do. We'll raise all troops there. Start moving them immediately. Sure, let's maybe make her feel unwell. Okay, so he has joined and he's moving up from the south. But I should have the siege done by the time he arrives. Siege event. Garrison health. Sickness is spreading. Council invitation. Oh, you want me to make you marshal now? Am I even half a good marshal? I don't understand. You kicked me out as your chancellor to make me your marshal now. Are you silly? Oh, there it says. I just answered a comment earlier on, on this very question. Levies and taxes are reduced as King Alain of West Francia is not your rightful liege. You want your liege to hold the Duchy of Bar, since your primary title, County of Langres, is de jure part of that duchy. Okay. And I don't think that duchy exists. Does it? Um... Uh, yes. Nope, it does not. And I also cannot create it. Let's speed it up a little bit. He has a long, long way to go, and we will be halfway through our siege before he even arrives. But there is him. Personally, I want to finish the siege, though. 
He might go meet up with his friend first. But that's not good. Them combined are stronger than us. Strategy embraced. I'm sitting on a strategy meeting with King Alain and Prince Rogris discussing our plans for the ongoing war. King Alain is very receptive to my ideas, favoring them over the ones of his son. Ow, oh, of fellow vassal. Now we're going head to head. So we gain improved defense. Defender advantage, control territory, defender advantage. Okay, cool. That's not bad. That's good during a war like the one we're currently waging. So we have done and won the battle before he could arrive. Lucky us. Uh, so be it. We have gained another county title. And if we should stand down with troops. And speed this whole thing up again. And we still are not capable of creating that title. That we so desperately need. Because we are lacking just one more county. A faction has been created. Countess Denise Suede. Are you a Countess Denise? Holy hell. Would you look at that lady. She looks like Shrek. No, no. She looks like... Yeah, she's from Shrek. Like, directly out of Shrek. Gallant. Oh, she's a giant. That's where it comes from. Doesn't want an alliance. How much money to make it? Oh, no. So the only real good claim I have left... I have a whole bunch of claims left. Troyes. I mean, that would kind of complete us. That would give us a little bit of a headway here. Um, <laughs> Aquitaine, Aquitaine. Aquitaine. Chain. So 125, but they would definitely beat the heck out of us. Unless we call in our allies. And even then, I think it's kind of iffy. Could try mercenaries. But those are all way too expensive for us, it looks like. Oh, not all of them are too expensive for us. Heavy infantry. Hmm. Is there no sorting options here? Doesn't look like it. Unigundis comes of age. She's a fearless lackey. Oh, she has become a charismatic negotiator. Good. And we shall steal his ideas. Oh, no, we spent now. Now. I don't want to spend any prestige. How dare you challenge your count? Oh no, he... No, I spent... No, nope, I'm not spending that. I really need to read this more often and more carefully. So I don't accidentally spend prestige on, on these kinds of things. Matrilineal marriages also bring in knights, which is good. Um... Hunter Florenc is discreet, so that's good. 
so far it does make for more engaging uh, stories between characters, I feel. That's definitely something positive here. I have a... Since, since this knight thing is a thing now, and I know that my son-in-law is being a knight for me, that makes me appreciate him more. Or even just think of him. Because it matters that my daughter's spouse is at court. It matters. Not a lot, but it does matter. So this county has two baronies here. A legitimate claim on uh, Reims, but... Yeah, all lies. Austria. We need one more alliance, I think. But we can't really do anything with alliances because we don't have the prestige to get them in there. Oh, come on. You like us. What else can we do? I could offer her, her a ward. Is it going to increase her opinion of me, though? Oh. I don't think we can even get much higher on opinion modifier. So this thing is just kinda stuck. Our liege was taken prisoner and he was released. Which means he lost his war. Okay, another daughter. So, let's see. Oh no, it's a grandson. No potential alliances here. Alliance power, nothing. Let's make sure he's well educated then at least. And I will educate the grandson personally. But I also have this new daughter here. Let's go by alliance power. The Scheichtum of Bourbon. Oh hello, what no? Well that's a that's a war to lose, France. That is a war to lose. Not to be confused with the county of Toulouse. Are you joking? That is insane. That's a big ouch. How strong are you? 500. It's not much. Or maybe we can get something with a matrilineal thing. A city. That's crazy. Risk of the children being inbred. Oh, okay. Totally up for that. Yeah, that's crazy. But that also means that Aquitaine just shrunk considerably. Well, I remain pretty unchanged. They still have some allies down there in West Frank, yeah? But I should be able to do this, to pull this off. Yeah. 
yeah, let's do it. Come on now. That's fantastic. Wait, did I not just declare war? The king is being attacked. Yeah, okay. I, I want to attack someone too. Hello. There he is. There we go. Okay, how many allies can we accept? This guy would come and this lady would come. How many troops do you bring? Mm -hmm. Okay, let us spend the prestige. Let us spend it. So those should come to our aid. The enemy has better troops than us. And more of them as well. And we are a new lifestyle perk. Become a diplomat. Independent ruler plus 20. Okay. Personal scheme power plus 25%. So. Um, I think we are in for a lifestyle change maybe. At the ripe old age of 40 something probably. I don't really know. Yeah. 40 something probably. Marshall, maybe? Or get, is there anything that gives us more prestige? Faithful. Cast a spelly cost minus 15%, that's not bad. Natural dread. Increased control. And the overseer perk. Hmm. Strategist. Gallant. Oh yeah, there we go. So I think, uh, what do we want? Attraction opinion, advantage, plus five. Battle advantage makes one side in battle do more damage. The higher the advantage, the more damage soldiers will do. Battles often start with one side having higher advantage based on terrain, martial skill. So that one would probably be good. Let's do that. So let's switch over to this. And we'll just have to hope that our allies send their troops to us quicker. Then the enemy can arrive. Or... We siege them quicker. Not a siege, this will be a siege. I don't see an ally yet. Okay, they're already pulling out their weapons, so... Hello, allies? Uh, anyone sending troops toward ourselves, our pretty lovely selves? I think we need to do mercenaries. I think we need to do that. 
I wish this was more like, you can afford these and also buy these. Okay, what troops do you bring? Can I say? Is it possible for me to tell? These are levies and light foot. A bunch of knights. So ideally we have something that counters light foot, but we don't have that. These count as spearmen, so they don't really help us, do they? Oh, okay. It's 258 for a three years contract. So I don't have to pay them over over time. That's cool. I like that. That's a good change. 215 for these. Which are only really good against cavalry, none of which we face. But heavy infantry would be the worst option because they have a lot of skirmishers which are countered. Or rather counter ring mine. There are some horses there. I think we'll go with a pike. Question is, can I even get them up there quickly enough to join me? Might just be. So how about... I take command. So we also get the ruler leadership thing. Advantage. Alright, so let's make one high quality army out of it. The enemy is still coming and I still see not a single allied soldier anywhere. At all. Um... So what we're gonna do is we're gonna ask for some money here. It's not gonna be enough, is it? You can call your house member Count Milon. Okay, let's call the house member then. And we can call in our... No, we can't. Alright. Okay, so he joins us. And he actually sends troops. Training a war horse. As I inspect the stables, my gaze is drawn to a stallion kept away for, from all others. He throws his head, displaying his powerful hindquarters. I've never seen such a war horse before, but the stable master insists he is impossible to train. I am not one to back down from a challenge, as you can see. So they are coming. They have more troops, but lower quality at this point. Uh, our ally up there is actually sending troops for once. And I'll end it here and we'll see how this riveting tale ends up working out. Thanks for watching. See you around. Bye bye.